Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to be doing a very exciting video. It's my first ever Halloween look and I mean, it turned out pretty amazing in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. To start off, I'm using PVA glue to create a nice separation down the middle of my face. I then added tissue on top of that and made sure that it was securely in place and wasn't about to fall off my face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because the PVA glue is wet, I had to use a blow dryer to speed up the drying process. So after the PVA glue was all dried, I went in with my foundation as normal. I'm using the sleek silicone based foundation in F. I then went in and filled in my brow with the sleek eyebrow pencil in I think it's dark brown I'm using. And I neaten up my eyebrows with the concealer. I'm using LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Quarter. I use the same concealer under my eyes, you know, to highlight and just do my makeup as I normally would, but just obviously on one side of my face. And to contour, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Expresso. And I'm just blending everything out because even though it's a Halloween makeup, I want this side of my face to look, you know, like it's on fleek. <laughs> to set my face, I'm using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And to set my contour, I'm using this sleek compressed powder in 03. For my eyes, I wanted to do like a nice subtle eye look. So I went into my Morphe palette. I'll put the link in the description because I don't remember which one it is. Morphe, I think it's a 35W palette and I used the orange and the black and just mixed both together. Then I used my collections black liquid eyeliner, black gel eyeliner and just created a nice wing. I'm not the best at wings but you know, I tried. The mascara I'm using is by Avon, I don't quite remember the name, but it will be in the description box. I think it's the super extended mascara actually. And then I'm just going in with a black eyeliner that I probably got from eBay or something. And I'm just brushing off the powder off my face. To highlight, I'm using Revolution's Triple Baked Highlighter, and I think the shade is called Goddess of Love. So onto the fun side, yes, I'm so excited for this part. So to start off, I'm using a red face paint. And I got this face paint from Wilkinson, it was like a pound. So I just applied it to everywhere on my face and continued to build it up. For some reason it was really, really thin, but I just tried to build as much as possible. I then went in with my Snazaru face paint stick in black to create like a circle around my eye make it look like I've got like a black eye or my eyes gorged out or something like that. At this point I really didn't know what I was doing because I started off thinking that I was going to do a half pumpkin makeup look and I realised I didn't have orange face paint so I said you know what, you know what, I'm just going to work with what I've got. I had red face paint and fake blood so I just created this look. So I'll just use a brush to add the face paint and I was just going around my eye really carefully. And the brush wasn't working for me, it just wouldn't blend so I tried using a sponge and again it just left a big patch. So I decided to use the Collections Gel Black Gel Eyeliner that I used for my wing and that was amazing. I mean, look at it. it sh this should be the formula for every face paint because I don't know what that was to be honest. Some cheap face paint. You know. So I thought the, the circle was looking a bit too neat for me, so I just went around it with a brush and created like these dotted kind of, you know what I mean, this, this weird effect. And I also mixed the black with the red to make my skin look like it was kind of bruised. And of course I had to continue building the black with 
because the face paint was just it just wasn't popping for me. It just wasn't doing it. And at this point, I just I don't know. I just I was just winging it. I was on Snapchat one day and I saw this girl. She created like a makeup look with like it's called gorged out eyes, and she used tissue around her eyes and she just made it look like her eyes were gorged out basically. So I decided, you know what? Let me try to do this. Let me try to do this look and see how it turned out. So I added the tissue around my eye, dried it with the blow dryer, and then went in with the black face paint again. I added some red around the black face paint just to give it a more like bloody vibe and I just created some lines down my face and proceeded to add in the fake blood because I wanted it to look kind of like I've been scratched and you know, my face is proper disgusting, bloody, bruised, and you know, all of that. And I really, really love the way it turned out, especially the fake blood. So, that's pretty much all I did to achieve this look, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>